used to get your gaming going on this bed boy and I fuck that now that's what I'm talking about you little youngsters don't know what gaming is to you try one of these it's a bit old where's my duster let me get my duster out let me go get rid of some of this color on my ear look <laughs> that's my XP wear And that was sight for sore eyes. Certainly was when I was about eight. Oh, thing of beauty. Joy forever. Right. So, what do we have? Sega. Master System. Power Base. Hmm. Wasn't much of a power base, was it? Anyway, Newton body ah. cartridges. It's where all games were stored on. And this CD crap. And this uh, DVD ROM crap. What does that say? Uh, avoid exposing cartridges to extreme temperature. Be careful not to immerse cartridge in water. Oh man. I'm gonna put it in some water earlier and see where see what happened. Maybe it'll blow up. Maybe a future video. Anyway. It's not looking at that. I reckon we should lift the skirt. See what makes it tick. Nine volts, eight hundred and fifty milliamps. Hmm, that's quite a lot. That's nearly an amp, that's nearly nine watts for this whole system. That's the serial number there. And the model number. Sega Enterprises Limited. Made in China. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good 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 good. Anyhow, let's open this bad boy, shall we? So here we go then. Good old Phillips screwdriver. Ah oh, crap. I need a longer one. <laughs> it's too short to fit in the hole. That's what she said. Here we go. Now we have adequate size. Let's get this off. Come on, a bit rusted. It's sitting in my uh, storage cupboard for God knows how many years. Uh, it's a little bit uh, on the rusty side. Oh, I've got it left handed, I've got to go around and reach around my tripod. Oh, I can't screw my left hand. That's also what she said. Left hand. What is left hand good for? What are left hand good for? What do we use them for? Unless you're left handed. In which case. You are left handed. What good is your right hand? What's your right hand for? Hmm. God, this is taking a bit longer than I expected. I should have cut this bit out. Oh well, stuck with me opening the bottom end of this Sega Master System. Oh look. Ah, what's that for? Okay. Some sort of uh, optional extra slot. Which they didn't bother with. Fair dues. Let's try and get this uh, thing off. Ah, there we go. Cool. That was easy. Come out. Come out. There we go. Ah. Uh, opened it the wrong way round. Oh well. Don't need that bit. That's just a cartridge spring mechanism thingy doodle, what's it? Oops, oh crap just fell out. Oh well. Alright. Oh, still kind of upside down. Anyhow, oh look at that. Rusty. Rusty, rusty pieces. Not very good, is it? 
I say it's been sitting in my cupboard for uh, how many years? I have no idea. What is this? Sega like processor. Uh, so look. Ah, look at that. Feeble friend there. Z084. Z80 CPU. Does anyone else know where the Z80 CPU was used? Comments down below if you do know. Z80 and Z81 was the uh, ZX Spectrum, if you guys remember. Oh, what a piece of crap in there was this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what can I say? Not really much to do with, really. Cartridge slot. Unknown cartridge slot. Joystick ports. Sorry, gamepad ports. Click it on and off. Uh, so this would be... What would that be? Probably something to do with the control joystick. So gamepads. Um, I.O. for that. Uh, that. Those look like memory modules or ROM modules. That stores the, the system. Actually, that could be a ROM. Those could be memory. That's the main processor. Uh, that is probably for the uh, external. What was that for? I don't know. Um, external monitor, I think, or other devices. So that controls that, obviously, being near the vicinity. CPU there, which is generally in the middle. But it's not. So, oh well big fat clock look at the size of that huge yeah, labeled oscillator the clock oscillator oh there's a big fat chippy under there what's that can you see it hmm it's a weird looking package isn't it look at the pins on that oh yeah you can see it a bit better under there look how the pins are arranged hmm oh look We've got a little old poor little focus you fucking bastard focus focus it's not going to focus is it it's going to be a bastard try to zoom your ass in really do I let's go the hello well that don't help does it well I just have to read it for you then that's an LM340 T5, which is the model number. It's a 7805. So it's a 5 volt regulator. Um, powered by 9 volts, what did we say? 850 milliamps. So it's 9 volts into this chip. And then out comes the 5 volts. Could be probably anywhere up to an amp. I think the old 7805s are. But yeah, that's a bit, uh, bit crusty, eh? I might do a bit of a clean-up job on that, maybe. Get some uh, pure acetone and see if I'll get rid of some of this. Can't really see it on camera. Try and get the right light. That connector looks a bit bleh. Not that we use it. Yeah, see that rust on the top there? All this crap. Yeah, get some acetone on that. Let me clean it up a bit. Is it worth taking any more out? There won't be nothing underneath on the bottom side of the board. It'll be um, single sided. It won't be dual sided. There won't be no uh, tiny little SMD components underneath. They didn't bother with this. There's no need to. Just a few smattering the components and away you go. So, uh, yes. Interesting though.